sailing that's such a tactical sport as well as being about sailing the boat you also have to be looking for where the wind is you know looking for new gusts you're looking at other boats you're looking at the race course there's a lot going on so you have to be really switched on to everything that's happening because if you miss one thing that's the difference between finishing first and last in a race Having self-motivation, that's something that's really important, which I, sort of, I wasn't really told about, is that you have to be willing to go and do it yourself because other people aren't going to make you get up in the morning and go to the gym and get up and go sailing and go out in the cold or go out when it's too windy or when there's no wind. I love going fast. When there's big waves and it's really windy, you're going really fast, you can't really beat it. Even when I don't want to go training, I go out on the water because I know they're the days that are gonna be the difference between me and my competitors. If I go out and they don't, that's going to give me confidence to know that hopefully when it comes down to the crunch, I'll be able to be ahead of them. It was kind of made me realise you have to be pretty ruthless. Up until then, I think I'd be a little bit nicer than they would be to me. It'll definitely sort of stand to me in the next four years. I think they've already noticed the first World Cup event I did this year, that like you don't want to mess around with me anymore. <laughs>